thank you so much. Thanks to everyone who's joined us here today. And thank you certainly to Congressman Pascrell for all the work you've done to make sure this issue gets the attention in Congress it deserves. I'd also like to thank Errol Hunter and Christina Martinho, two of our frontline workers and caretakers, as well as Donna Griff and Dana Mooney, who are all on the call, and you'll hear from them in just a short while. And finally, I'd like to acknowledge Toto Americoro for being on the call and your willingness to host us at our previous location, the Passaic County Department of Senior Services in Totowa. We're here today because too many people have died in nursing homes. And you heard it from Congressman Pascrell, it didn't have to be this way. More than 75,000 Americans have died from COVID-19 in nursing homes to date. But a lack of PPE, rollbacks and protections previous administrations had put in place, and generally a callous approach to the well-being of our seniors resulted in tens of thousands of unnecessary deaths. Here in New Jersey, many of our county-owned facilities like Preakness and Passaic County did a very good job of keeping the virus away from patients and reacting appropriately when someone got sick and it saved lives. But not all nursing homes met that standard. I just can't imagine how it must feel to have lost a mother, father, a grandparent, an aunt, a sister or a brother, any loved one in a situation like this when you know more could have been done and we're powerless to help. So we're here today to talk about what we can do to fix this problem moving forward. The legislation we introduced will ensure nursing homes are prepared for pandemics. And if they're not, states have the funding and directives to more closely monitor them and fix problems before they get out of hand. The Protect LTC Act, which I've introduced along with Congressman Pascrell's Prepare Act, provides $100 million to increase investigations and surveys, as well as purchase personal protective equipment and boost staffing levels for surveyors. The bill also increases civil monetary penalties for outbreak specific violations at nursing homes, including staff shortages, overcrowding, and insufficient PPE. Under this legislation, state agencies must complete a standard assessment within four weeks of an outbreak and every six months afterward. This legislation will provide critical funding for the resources and direction needed to catch outbreaks early and hold back bad actors accountable. Under the Trump administration, CMS has exhibited a culture of leniency toward nursing homes and has consistently proposed and implemented weakened protections for nursing home residents. In 2017, the Trump administration announced a one-year delay on penalties for skilled nursing facilities violating certain regulations and later that year announced extending the delay on penalties even further. In 2019, the Trump budget proposed reducing the frequency of skilled nursing facilities surveys for quote, top performing nursing homes, despite studies indicating that some high rated nursing homes violate residents' rights and protections. We've introduced these two pieces of legislation together because this needs to be a holistic approach, increased oversight, transparency, and accountability. So now I'd like to introduce two constituents from my district, Donna Grift and Dana Mooney. Donna and Dana lost their mother, Lily, at a nursing home during the pandemic. Donna and Dana, and to your whole family, I'm so sorry for your loss. I'll let you share your story, and thank you so much for being here today.